Hi, I'm Jeff Haynes, editor at Tech Bargains, and today we're bringing you the video review of the Barnes & Noble Nook Color. In today's digital age, many people consider the e-reader to be the future of both books and magazines. Of course, there's dozens of them out on the market, each one promising new functionality and features to help capture the imagination of the consumers while at the same time nipping at the heels of Amazon's very popular Kindle. Barnes & Noble's take on the e-reader is the surprisingly versatile Nook Color, which features and displays a lot more than your average bestseller or magazine on store shelves. At first glance, the Nook Color is almost comparable to other tablets and e-readers on the market. The device is 8.1 inches high, 5 inches wide, and 0.48 inches deep. It's perhaps one of the heaviest e-readers around, weighing in at about 15.8 ounces. However, it has an incredibly sharp 7-inch backlit IPS display with a native resolution of 1024 by 600 that can display more than 16 million colors. Although the Nook Color comes with 8 gigabytes of internal memory, it can be expanded to 32 gigabytes thanks to a micro SD card slot. Rounding out the specs of the device is an ARM Cortex-A8 based TI OMAP3621 processor running at 800 MHz, as well as 802.11b, G, and N Wi-Fi support. We were initially struck by the minimalist design of the Nook Color, which only has one actual button on the front of the device itself. Everything else that you want to do with the reader winds up being handled by icons arranged at the bottom of the screen, which had two separate uses. It let us configure the device much more easily, while reducing any sense of clutter on the screen. It was also rather easy to hold thanks to a rubbery exterior that coated the back and the sides of the device itself. But while the unit was a bit heavy, we liked that it felt solid, durable, and easily portable, especially since it's about the size of a paperback. Of course, along with the design, we were really impressed by the backlit screen, which we found useful in both lit and dark settings. This allowed us to read for extended periods of time without needing to worry about eye strain or limits on the times that we could use the device. There were other advantages with the Nook Color, like resizing the font of magazines and books for individual preferences, viewing web pages, or even setting the device in nighttime mode for nocturnal reading sessions. We found these options particularly useful given the fact that the Nook has access to more than 2 million books and magazines. Sure, many e-readers present e-ink formats or backlit screens, but we were really surprised by the magazine presentation, which presented them in full color from cover to cover, including ads from print versions in their entirety. This is nice for people that don't want to feel as though they've gotten an electronically sanitized version of their content. Plus, with the article view option, you receive content formatted to be read on the Nook screen without having to constantly zoom in and out to read articles. We also love the fact that the Nook Color has good battery life for an e-reader. We found that it got about 8 to 10 hours of battery life, which Barnes & Noble claimed that it would. We noticed that it didn't use a lot of power when the screen was dimmed, nor was there a significant lag when we basically put the machine to sleep. We also found ourselves pleased by the extras under the hood. While the Nook has a basic browser, it gets the job done to view websites, and even includes pinch-to-zoom functionality. Users can lend books that you download with the Lend Me feature on the device for 14 days. Plus, the Nook can handle MP3, MP4, and JPEG files. And while we wish it supported more video codecs, that's still pretty good for any e-reader. Then again, it also offers crossword puzzles, Sudoku, chess, and Pandora support with the device via the extras section. Little touches like this help the Nook stand out from other devices on the shelves. What's more, the Nook Color runs on Android 2.1. While Barnes & Noble stated that they weren't planning on providing access to the Android market or its apps, or follow through by providing their announced app store, users have taken the initiative to turn the device into an Android tablet, and it seems like every week more people come along that have been able to update their device to Froyo with Android market use. All of these positives said, there are some issues with the device. For one thing, while we liked how durable the Nook felt overall, other design elements felt somewhat substandard. For instance, the power and volume buttons felt like they would break whenever we used them. Plus, we frequently had to press them multiple times before the unit would register their use, thanks to how wobbly they are. We also found that touch sensitivity on the device was good, but if you've ever used a speedy or responsive tablet like the iPad, you really notice just how sluggish the Nook color happens to be. We couldn't exactly pinpoint this to a hardware or software issue, but it did somewhat stand out. We also hated the design choice made to place the microSD card slot inside the hook at the bottom left of the device. 
We don't know why the hook is there, nor do we really understand why the micro SD card slot is placed here, but it's inconvenient and in the way of inserting or removing storage. Our other design complaint was tied to the speaker, which was somewhat small on the back of the device and rather weak. While we know that this is an e-reader and not a media device, the inclusion of playback, audio playback support, or MP3s really does demand a better speaker. Make sure that you have headphones if you want to listen to anything. We weren't sure how the Nook Color would perform compared to other e-readers on the market, but we were pleasantly surprised to find out that it did exactly what it claimed to do. As an e-reader, it hosts a very comfortable reading experience that can be customized based on a user's individual preferences. Plus, it has access to more than 2 million magazines and books, which would be more than enough to appease any discerning bibliophile. And, thanks to the bonus features, this can be turned from a simple e-reader into a multi-purpose device. Now, while we would have wished that it had extended battery life, 3G functionality, or more solid design features, we found overall that this was a unit that we had to wholeheartedly recommend. For these reasons, we decided to give the Nook Color a 4.5 out of 5. For the latest reviews on the newest products, as well as coupons and deals on the Nook Color, be sure to check out techbargains.com.